G'day, Starlo here. By now you've probably heard a bit about these Kabura style Japanese jigs, such as these Tiger Baku Bakus from Shimano. They're catching plenty of fish in the salt water and you might have even seen some video clips of some giant New Zealand snapper being caught on them. I've been lucky enough to catch some quite nice snapper in my local waters on Tiger Baku Bakus too, but this winter I wanted to try something a little different and to use these jigs to chase a feed of sand flathead on our inshore drifting grounds. I'll show you how that went in a minute, but first a bit more about these lures. They consist of three components, a heavy flat sided head with flash and eyes, a skirt and a set of wickedly sharp, strong assist hooks pre-rigged on Kevlar cord. Currently Shimano offer weights from 60 to 120 grams in these jigs. Now, please note that they're packaged with a short length of mono connecting the three components. Don't tie your line to this, cut it off and bin it. Then take your fluorocarbon or nylon leader, run it through the smaller hole in the front of the jig head, out through the larger opening in the back, then through the skirt, and finally tie it to the solid ring at the top of the assist hooks using something like a uni or a half blood knot, a good strong tight connection. I'm using one of the new Shimano Maikuro rods purpose designed for this style of fishing. It's pretty nifty because it's got a spiral wrap guide train and a flexible white tip with contrasting bright orange wraps to aid in visual bite detection, plus a nice long butt to tuck up under your arm. I've matched this sweet little rod up with a 200 sized Tranx baitcaster from Shimano and it's spooled up with 20 pound Kairiki braid and I like to run a leader of about 3 or 4 metres of 20 pound Oshia fluorocarbon. What you end up with when you put all that together is a very light responsive outfit that's absolutely perfect for the task at hand. So, how did our quest to catch a feed of wintertime sand flathead on this fun gear go? Well, have a look for yourself. Joe and I reckon it's a good omen when you pick up an escort of dolphins on the way out, and even though it was a cold start, it wasn't a bad sort of day. We were keen to see how the tiger bakus had performed. We pulled up in 20 odd metres of water over a sand bottom and spooled our jigs to the seabed. We chose 60 and 80 gram models in this depth. Once they hit the bottom, simply engage the reel and slowly wind up a metre or two of line, occasionally giving the rod tip a bit of a gentle jiggle. Joe was doing exactly the same thing up in the bow of the boat and almost straight away we started getting bumps and bites. It's important not to strike just wind into the fish. You won't pin them all, but Joe soon came up tight and it felt like a pretty good sand flathead. Fight them smoothly with a fairly light drag, using the rod as a shock absorber. Don't worry about pumping and winding. Not a monster, but at 40 odd centimetres, not a bad start to the day, and pin neatly on both assist hooks. Okay, must be my turn now. Make positive contact with the bottom, wind up slowly watching that light rod tip, resist the urge to strike, simply keep cranking and then lift smoothly into the weight of the fish. Once it's hooked, keep the pressure on, let the drag do its work and don't pump and wind. Up she comes out of 25 metres of cool, clear water. It's only a little spiky this time, but it's still worth running over the measuring mat in case it tops the 33 centimetre minimum legal length here in New South Wales. If not, it's easily unhooked and released. Joe's onto another one up front too. It's not at all unusual to have to wade through a fair few small ones to find the bigger keeper flathead. But we did notice that there were a few less throwbacks on the jigs than we usually catch at this spot using bait. The average size was definitely a tad better on the Tiger Baku Bakus. Over the course of an hour or two, we were able to easily amass the makings of a couple of delicious meals of fresh flathead fillets, and it was certainly a fun way to do it. So there you go. Check out the Shimano Baku Baku jigs and give them a try. I reckon just about anything that swims and eats octopus, squid or cuttlefish will have a crack at one of these. 
and that's most saltwater fish. Anyway, until next time, this is Starlo wishing you tight lines. <laughs>